In the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we're going to be looking at how to leverage Search Console to track the performance of our rich features in Google Search. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please do so now. And don't forget to turn on alerts. That way you know each and every time we publish a new piece of content to our channel. Hey, what's up? And welcome to this tutorial on leveraging Search Console to track the impact of our SERP features that we've earned by either earning a featured snippet or by leveraging structured data and specifically schema markup in order to earn something like an FAQ, products, review, videos, and more. So Search Console is a tool that used to be known as Google Webmaster. Obviously, it's changed quite a bit over the years. This is the new and improved version, which was released not too long ago. And with it, we have some pretty cool new features. So when you log into Search Console, you need to have your site verified. That's the first step. In order to do that, you just need to add your URL up in the top here. And then Google's going to ask you to verify it through a number of different ways, through your Google Analytics account, through Tag Manager, through a meta tag. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. And I'll create a link here in this video so you can check that out to make sure that you have your site verified. Once it's verified, it's going to be able to share with you how your site and your site links are performing in the search results. It's going to tell you how many impressions you have, how many clicks you have, the overall click through rate of your site. But today we're talking specifically about how do we track the impacts of our search results when it comes to earning featured uh, snippets or other rich results. Now, if you look at the left-hand sidebar, you're going to see a number of different things. Um, results right here, performance, gonna show you your search results or Google Discovery, which has to do within the mobile application of Google. Um, we also can see our indexing, and then right below that we see enhancements. Enhancements is where you're going to find things like Core Web Vitals, which is part of the new algorithm, which Google will be releasing and rolling out sometime in 2021. It's going to tell you like how your site's performing on mobile. It's going to give you an update on AMP if you're leveraging AMP for your content, but then it's also going to show you your rich features. So right here we've got FAQs, logo, site link search box, videos. So what we can do is begin to drill down into some of these features to see how it's impacting maybe a specific page's overall click-through rate or impressions. Now, if I click on these here, let's say I click on the videos here, what it's going to show that right now uh, we have no errors, um, we have no warnings, and then we actually right now have four pages that are valid. It's gonna tell me when the page was last detected, what it is, um, the item itself that's that's being shown so in this case would be the video and then the url that it's showing on but it doesn't give me any information on how this page is performing it's not telling me anything on the impressions or the clicks so in order to see that we actually need to go over to performance now performance this is going to show how your page is performing in search so the total amount of impressions the clicks your overall click through rate your average position things like that now, right below, we can actually drill down through here. It's going to you know, usually sort it by clicks, but it'll tell us the, the top queries that we're getting to our site. Uh, it's going to tell us the pages, the countries, the devices, and right here, it'll show what's called search appearance. So if we click on search appearance, it will begin to pull some data from the enhancement section. So we have things like AMP pages, uh, web light results, which has to do with mobile, and then we have the videos. So what we'd want to do is click into this, and now you can see a trend over time. Now, there's a couple things you can do with this data. Now, looking at it right here, we're only looking at pages with videos. So we want to make sure that we're comparing it against maybe a control group. Our pages with video typically are our blog pages because we do publish our videos on our blog. And so we could take non-video blogs and see what the difference is between those. So create control groups and track the different impressions and the clicks. You can even export all of this data and you can export the URLs and then create two different segments in analytics and run a test to see the impact of organic traffic to those pages as well. So there's a lot that you can do with this data. Now this is just one result, uh, and these are just for videos, because that's really something that we're targeting right now for our site, but we've got clients you know, that we can track reviews. Are we getting clicks? Just because we have these here, are we actually getting more clicks than pages that you know maybe don't have these search features? Now, as you can see up here, search appearance is up here in the, the filter. And we can actually take this filter off and see what our impressions like overall without those. Now again, now we're looking at all pages on our site, so this wouldn't be an actual you know A/B test to know the difference because you can see it looks like we had an increase in clicks overall over the last few months. 
but you can start to get some data and understanding to see how those pages, which pages are, are actually earning those, those rich positions, and then how can you optimize with them or for them. But really the most important thing is that we can leverage this tool, we can leverage these filterings to see which pages are earning rich features, and then understanding are they having a positive impact on our clicks and our impressions.